and welcome back to the greatest music channel in the world, where I write a song like your favorite artist. It's me, the great and powerful Willie. In today's video, I'm going to be writing a song like Surf Curse, an American surf rock band from Reno, Nevada. Now, if you haven't already and would like to support the channel, go ahead and tap that like button. Subscribe to Banana Labs if you're not. Hit the bell notification so you know when I post a new video like this one. The song I'm going to be writing today is going to be influenced by Surf Curse's most played song, Freaks, which has millions of plays on Spotify. I'm going to go ahead and leave a link in the description box down below so you can check out the song for yourself. Today's instruments are going to include some real drums, electric guitar, both rhythm and lead, electric guitar bass, and some vocals. Now if you're not familiar with the channel, you can go ahead and fast forward to the end of the video to hear the final track, or you can stick around with the rest of us as we build this track. Now without wasting any more of you guys' time, let's get into it, shall we? Jeez. All right, friends, so Surf Curse's song Freak is in a key of A major, and then it does a relative minor, which would be, uh, what, a, a, I'm sorry, F sharp minor, or a G flat minor. And the lead is like... So it's like... Anyway, I'm gonna stay in the same key because I think my vocals would be able to kind of handle it. Now it's not gonna sound the same, but that's okay. We're just kind of, once again, trying to capture that Surf Curse vibe. So we can even change it, uh, we can go like the opposite. And mind you, that lead goes like through the whole song non nonstop, it's like looped. I'm not really sure if it's looped or, you know, someone's playing the, that same thing for, you know, two and a half minutes. But anyway, so um, I figure we can start with that same um, that same riff, sort of. So we can go. And we'll just add a couple of chords. Why not, right? First time around, we'll throw in that E major. And then right here we'll go. And then the lead on top could be. The whole time, right? And then also, so their chorus goes to uh, like a fourth, so if they're on A, the chorus would go to a D major. We can do that too, and we could change it up a little bit. Get a little bit fancy with the chords because I mean why not you know what I mean I mean we're here let's do it so we can go uh, let's try that transition from a verse to a chorus go back and we could do that uh, back and forth there's no bridge or anything in their song so I'm gonna go ahead and leave a bridge out as well 
uh, since there's a lead throughout the whole song, I don't think there's really a, uh, a need to be a solo part. Um, but yeah, let's just keep it simple. Um, just with a few chords. So they use a total of like three chords, I think. Maybe four, but let's just say three. And that song is like one of their i guess best songs as far as like you know plays and streams so that goes to show you that you know simplicity works but of course me being me i have to be a little bit extra and add a few chords uh just i'm that's just the way i you know i like to do it it doesn't really mean anything but it's just how i like to hear things i like to add a little extra you know a little a little extra kick you know so let's roll with that um i'm gonna go ahead and record a reference so that I can track the drums over that and then we'll go ahead and layer our other instruments. It's not going to be that much instruments. We're going to keep it pretty simple as I mentioned before, like their song. We tracked all the instruments, now let's do the mix down. I'm going to start with the kick first. Alright, this is looped. And I'm going to go to my... Uh, ...presets. Audio effect rack. And I have one for the kick drum. So here I have compression, I have an EQ set up, uh, saturation, and then I have the uh, infected mushroom pusher. So without all these effects, so without this effect rack, and now with it, Definitely some more uh, umph to it, if you will. Let's do this. So without it, and now with the uh, effects. Now let's move on to the snare. I have one for the snare ready. Similar setup, uh, different adjustments though. So without the adjustments, and now with the adjustments. A little bit more punchy, a little bit in your face. Now let's hear them together, the kick and snare. Oh, that sounds good. I love the way that sounds, beefy. Now for the overhead. Got another uh, effects rack set up. Without the effects racks. Excuse me, without the effects. And now with them. Big difference, I think. Hold on. Let's save this. Alright, now let's move on to the bass. I don't have any presets for the bass, uh, just because we do different genres and, you know, they vary, so I have to do this manually. See, I like that low end, but I also like the uh, mid to highs to kind of come through. Whoops. Now let's get some drive. A little bit of saturation. I'm going to crank the drive a little bit. But 
when I crank the drive, I'm going to have to pull back on the output because it does increase the volume significantly. I also like to add the Maserati B72. Check this out. You can really add more bass to this. Because we do that, we're going to need to throw a, um, excuse me, side chain, glue compressor, side chain, kick. Because those low frequencies are going to clash, the kick and that bass. So let's go ahead and group this and I'll show you guys what it sounds like with and without the adjustments. So without the adjustments, a little bit muffled. Now with the adjustments, more clear. Let's go a little bit more on the threshold. Let's make our adjustments now, volume adjustments that is. Let's move on to the guitar. That's uh, very shrill, but I kind of want it to sound dirty. So let's go one effect by one. EQ. with some saturation and then I think I'm going to throw a uh, the mushroom pusher plug in adjustments. I'm going to add some reverb to kind of help it a little bit more smooth. Help it a little bit to be, uh, excuse me, ah jeez I can't even talk. Smooth things out basically. I'm going to put it right here after the saturator. <laughs> Now I'm going to copy paste to the other guitar because I doubled the guitar. Actually, I didn't double it in post-production. I overdubbed the guitar, so I recorded the guitar twice. Played the same notes. So let's hear them. <laughs> drums a little bit. All right. 
right. Now for the lead guitar. some saturation and then some reverb it's still the reverb from the guitar here I'm gonna throw the chorus on got to do is throw in some effects on the uh, drum group so and again these adjustments are just going to kind of beef up the drums a little bit more check it out Then I like to throw on the uh, JS37 tape saturator. Cold, stoned, watching how I talk, all ways, eyes, cold, stoned, watching compression, eyes, cold, stoned, watching how I talk, eyes, cold, stoned. I love the uh, Shure SM7B mic that I had just got. It's just, I feel like I hardly really have to do anything to the vocals, you know? It's just clean and warm. And then plus I have the DBX uh, 286 and it has that noise gate on it. Just more cleaner. Eyes cold, stoned. Uh, what, what else was I going to do? Oh yeah, saturator, and I'm gonna drive it a little bit. Eyes cold, stoned, watching how I talk. Eyes cold, stoned, watching how I talk. All right, I'm going to throw the mushroom pusher on here. Eyes cold, stoned, watching how I talk. Eyes cold, stoned, watching how I talk. Eyes cold, stoned, watching how I talk. Eyes cold. And that's pretty much it, you guys. Um, it's more or less where I want the sound to be. I'm going to give my uh, 
ears a rest and then come back and just kind of adjust things, you know, volume wise, clean up the tracks individually as far as like any excess, you know, basically trim the fat. But yeah, let me get you guys to the final track. And that's going to do it for today, friends. If you found today's video helpful, educational, and or entertaining, and you want to show some love, tap the like button. Subscribe to Banana Labs if you're not. Hit the bell notification so you know when I post a new video like this one. Hey, if you have a favorite artist that you would like me to write a song like, leave it in the comment box section down below. And while you're there, go ahead and let me know your thoughts about today's video. You can also follow me on Instagram at Banana Labs on YouTube. Thank you guys for supporting the greatest music channel in the world, where I write a song like your favorite artist. Hey, until the next one, have fun and keep creating. It's me, the great and powerful Willie. Sonny boy! <laughs> Happy New Year!